Hello everyone. My name is Venkatesh Parasuraman. I am a program manager in the Azure Synapse Analytics team. In this video series, you are going to learn about security in Synapse. How secure is my data in Synapse? What features does Synapse offer to protect my data? These are some of the common questions that we hear from our customers. Synapse runs on the Azure Cloud Platform and offers the best-in-class security framework to protect your data on the cloud. Some of the in-depth layers of the security include physical security of the data centers, network security, authentication, access control, threat protection, and data protection. First, we will cover the network security. Before we dive into the network security, let us talk about some of the key terminology used in Synapse, which are Synapse Workspace, Workspace Endpoints, and Synapse Studio. It is important to understand these terminology as this will provide a foundation for the rest of the series. What is a workspace? A workspace is a logical, securable collection of all services offered by the Synapse platform, which includes the dedicated SQL pools, serverless SQL pools, Apache Spark pools, and the data integration pipelines and the data flows. A workspace is a securable boundary because we can apply certain security settings such as IP firewall rules, disabling public access, and the data exfiltration protection at the workspace level that applies to all the services in the workspace. What is an endpoint? An endpoint is a point of incoming connection to access a service. Each Synapse workspace has three distinct endpoints. A dedicated SQL endpoint is used for accessing the dedicated SQL pools. This endpoint accepts connections on TCP port 1433, which is the standard port for TDS or the tabular data stream. You can connect to this endpoint from any SQL client such as SSMS or Azure Data Studio and run SQL queries on your dedicated SQL pools. A serverless SQL endpoint is used for accessing the serverless SQL pools. This endpoint also accepts connections on TCP port 1433. You can connect to this endpoint also from any SQL client and run SQL queries on the serverless SQL pools. The development endpoint is used for accessing the Apache Spark pools and the pipeline resources in the workspace. This endpoint accepts connections on HTTPS port 443. You can connect to this endpoint using any REST API client or .NET SDKs to submit Spark jobs or to run pipeline jobs programmatically. These endpoints are automatically created for you when you create a Synapse workspace. You can find these workspace endpoints on the overview page of your Synapse workspace. Synapse Studio is a web front-end development environment for Azure Synapse Analytics that caters to various personas such as data engineers, data scientists, data analysts, and Synapse administrators. Synapse Studio is accessed using the web URL web.azuresynapse.net. Synapse Studio is primarily used for performing various data plane and management operations in Azure Synapse Analytics, such as connecting to dedicated SQL pools, serverless SQL pools, and running SQL scripts developing and running notebooks on Apache Spark pools, developing and running pipelines, monitoring dedicated SQL pools, serverless SQL pools, Spark jobs and pipeline jobs, managing Synapse RBAC permissions on the workspace artifacts. Synapse Studio securely connects to all three Synapse workspace endpoints behind the scenes. Synapse Studio uses the Azure AD authentication to connect to your Synapse workspace. Thanks for watching this video. In the next video in this series, I will talk about public network access and IP firewall rules. Again, my name is Venkatesh Parasaraman and see you all in my next video. Thank you.